<laughs> so we went to Chincoteague Island and we stayed at the Chincoteague Island KOA over well it was a few days during the week of 4th of July yeah and um so we wanted to kind of show you how we got there um not so much the KOA because you can go and Google or look up the KOA on um, on YouTube. There's videos out there of the of the, uh, of the KOA, and it was a nice KOA. Yeah, real nice. It was really yeah. nice. Yeah, real beautiful place, I think. Yeah. yeah real nice. Yeah. So we kind of wanted to talk about how we got there, mm -hmm. and we got there and coming back, we took two different routes. Yeah. So um, there's a tunnel. To be able to get over to the um, what they call the Eastern Shore, and so I wasn't really sure about the tunnel um, height-wise and all of that kind of stuff. Um, which I know you can Google it, you can look at YouTube videos. There's some out there, or whatever. But I still was a little apprehensive mm -hmm. about going through the tunnel in a Class A RV, and so. I opted to go the longer route, <laughs> yeah. which was, um, I think, through the tunnel. If you go from Richmond to over that over to Chincoteague Island via 64 through the tunnel, mm -hmm. it's three hours. Yeah. And if you go up through um, Maryland toward Annapolis and then back over to Virginia, that's like five hours. It, well, almost another additional three hours. So, <laughs> And all it took us right at uh, a little bit over six hours to get there. Yeah, so it, so it added on about three hours, three hours yeah, yeah mm -hmm. um, to the drive. But going that way you go over a bridge you go over the Chesapeake Bay Bridge mm -hmm. which um, I knew that wasn't going to be a problem to go over so that's the way that we opted to take there <laughs> the way she opted to take there I, I, I didn't know that there was an additional uh, three hours that was involved with it and with me it's just like almost a mindset thing you, 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 you set your mind to okay we're about to make this journey, which is three hours and four hours. But then, in in two hours, two and a half hours worth of driving, you look over to the to the wife and say, "How much longer do we got?" Oh, we got about another three and a half hours. And I'm like, "What? Another three and a half hours?" So I was sort of discouraged. Nevertheless, a little disappointed in, oh man, I got to drive another three and a half hours when I only thought I had maybe another hour and a half or so. And my so, daughter did say she she googled it. She looked at YouTube and she was like, "Mama, you gonna be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. They've taken class A's through mm -hmm. there before. This is what you gotta do." Yeah. And I'm like, "I don't know. I'm mm -hmm. hearing all the horror stories of people yeah. going over, uh, you know, these underpasses and ripping off their AC units mm -hmm. and all this." And I'm thinking, "Man, mm mm." Because the minute that we get over to that tunnel and it's too short for us to go under, then it's going to be an issue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to hear it. Okay. Why didn't you do this? Why All didn't right. you do that? All right. So mm -hmm. I told him the reason why I didn't want to go that way because I was really, really skeptical. Okay. I, I, I didn't have a problem with that. If I would have knew beforehand it was going to take six plus hours to get to our destination. That's the only thing I I, I was. And this upset was about. a side trip to okay. our Virginia trip, right, yeah. so it wasn't like okay. this was our total destination. This yeah. was like we went to Richmond and we said, "Oh, instead of staying in Richmond all week, mm -hmm. let's go somewhere else." Yeah. Let's, so we I found Chickatig Island. I said, "Well, let's go to Chickatig Island. It's only like three hours away." Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was fine. Yeah. But then when I started looking and I'm like tunnel and I'm like, ooh, yeah. I don't know about that. But anyway, so that's the way we went. We mm -hmm. went up 295 to Route 13 toward Annapolis, mm -hmm. over the Chesapeake yeah. <laughs> Bridge. I mean, it was a pretty drive, though. Yeah, it was a nice drive, nice scenery. It was a pretty drive. Yeah. 
all in all, we got there. Mm -hmm. It's fine. No problems. So, we got to thinking, like, do we really want to take this six-hour drive back that way? Mm, I know I did. So, everybody was like, oh, my God, do we have to go six hours back mm -hmm. to get back home? So, I said, okay, Irvin. I Googled it. It said the bridge height was 13-something. Mm -hmm. And... You just have to turn off your propane tanks mm -hmm. and whatever. So, I didn't know how tall our RV is. I don't, I don't know. Do you know? No, and then uh, that's, that's man, <coughs> naive on our part. We need to get up there and measure it from top to bottom. So, we'll to be get a true, sure, you know, what, what what's the height. So, what I did was I went to Holiday Rambler's site and looked at the specs for our specific RV. And it said it was 12 feet. Eight inches. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's true to true from the highest point on our RV yeah. down, mm -hmm. or if that's just roof line yeah. down. Mm -hmm. But I knew twelve. What is it, twelve eight? Yeah. I knew that the air conditioning units couldn't have been another. Uh, maybe foot tall. Maybe. Yeah. So, I'm like, okay, we're going to try it. I'm like, we're going to try it. <laughs> we're going to see what happens. Worst case scenario, we got to back this big old thing up and turn around on the road. So, um, in Googling all of that, um, they said there's a toll that you have to pay. My daughter looked it up. She said it was all, it's $18, no big deal, whatever. Okay, fine. So, when we pack up to leave the KOA, or returns off the propane and um, and whatnot. So we get to the Chesapeake Bay um, to the toll first. Mm -hmm. They charge us thirty two dollars, thirty four dollars, thirty four dollars. Might have been thirty four dollars, thirty four dollars. Um, so I was like, wow, okay, you know, I, didn't, mm -hmm. I we paid it and kept going. Now that I look at it, mm -hmm. it does say RV and. Um, Recreational vehicles or something. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's eighteen dollars. Buses and other whatever are is thirty four dollars. Yeah, so they so, charge us a, for for a bus charge. Yeah, and so I'm not charge. sure if the RV are for the pull behinds, the, the class C's, class A was charged, or or they and they classify the class A's as buses. Bus, yeah, I mean I don't know. I mean I, it is big as a bus. True. So I can understand why, but and good lord, if when we went so, to Maine, we paid hella tolls. Oh yeah, when we went to uh, oh, yeah Maine. I mean, going, oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah. So anyway, so we paid the thirty four dollars, went over, got to the first tunnel, mm -hmm. and it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> there were big eighteen wheels going yeah. through this thing, so it was fine. They didn't check the propane until we got to the Hampton. Road, the Hampton, Hampton, Hampton Tunnel, Tunnel, yeah, whatever it's called. So we were made to pull to the side, yeah, pulled off on the, uh, to the to the side, and the uh, person that doing the inspection made you get out, and you had to walk around and physically open up the door and, and show them that you had turned the, uh, your your tank off, and uh, gave us a thumbs up. We got back in and proceeded to go into the tunnel. And we got stopped by traffic because yeah. there was an accident. There was accident inside the tunnel, so yeah. we uh, we were sitting there maybe 20, 25 minutes, I want to say. Yeah, so, so they broke out the board games and board games started and playing uh, games and eating chips and, yeah, and, and whatnot, so, yeah. they, so they, they they were fine. Yeah, um, we, we, we had a bathroom with us at an AC, so it was like, hey, what up? Yeah. We good, so. We were good. But, um, yeah, so those are the two ways that you can go to Chincoteague Island. So if you have a Class A RB. And you haven't added anything to the roof that's mm -hmm. going to make it taller than, um, I'm not sure, the exact height, 13 something. Mm -hmm. And it's not higher than that, then you're fine. Yeah. If you've added to it and it's taller than that, you ain't going to make it through. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, because you can look at the um, the 18 wheelers going by and they have like that much room. Mm -hmm. It look like <laughs> going, mm -hmm. going from yeah. the top of theirs to the top of that tunnel. But, um, 
I mean, it was fine. It was those two ways. I mean, it's just your preference. Some people don't, don't like the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Some people are terrified of that tunnel. Because if you look at it from the from the sky, if you ever, and you can Google it. Yeah. And it just looks like it's a just bridge, and then it just goes, yeah, yeah, like it just is, it goes in the water. It's, and it's, some people are just terrified of it, and some people are terrified of the bridge. The bridge yeah, the, the bridge was, was, was a little bit more exciting to me. I mean, you're out open and you're going up so high, and you got all this water around you. I mean, I'm, I'm fascinated by bridges anyway. Yeah. Um, Google my page. <laughs> yeah. And either yeah. one of them, I mean, I, I don't, they don't terrify me. Bridges yeah. or tunnels don't terrify me. I, I like both of them. Yeah. I think they're both pretty, pretty neat. But, um, like I said, some people have a preference. So if you're, if you have a doubt mm -hmm. of going through that tunnel with your class A, then as long as you're under that 13, eight, then you're fine. Yeah. You have, you will have no problems at all mm -hmm. going through there. We just wanted to share with you, and the Chica Teak was fine. It was clean. It was nice. Um, I don't. If if you get a chance, if you're up there, stop by. I mean, it's it's a nice, nice area. Yeah, uh, and right next to it is the uh, uh, was a huge water, water park, park right, yeah. um, which is not part of the KOA. Right. It's it's separate, but they have discounted rates. It wasn't yeah. open when we were there because of COVID, but they were gonna. They were going to be opening that Wednesday that we were leaving. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to be opening that Wednesday before we were leaving. Yeah. But the beach is um, like a mile mm -hmm. uh, yeah. from the KOA. And I think it was a $10 fee. Was yeah. It ten, yeah, $10 oh, fee yeah. mm -hmm. to get in over there. And it and that ten dollars is uh all day. all day. Yeah. Yeah. I you think can you can buy like multi day yeah. passes and stuff like that if you're gonna be down there longer. Mm -hmm. But um, we didn't see any wild horses. That's what I went to go see. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to see was the, the wild horses. There's so. a lighthouse on the on the island. Um, yeah. I wanted to go see, but I, I didn't. Oh, um, but it's like I said, very nice area. Yeah, very it's a nice very area. small little beach beachy town. Mm -hmm. Beachy is that mm -hmm. a word? Beachy. <laughs> yeah. It's a small so. beach town. Um, it looks like a typical beach um, area. I mean. A small version of Panama City, I would very dare to say. Small. Yeah, it's very so, small. Yeah. And they had a NASA yeah, center yeah, there. I, 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 I didn't was, even I know was that. I very intrigued about that. Yeah. yeah. And I think there's a there was a museum, mm -hmm. um, like, across from it or yeah. whatever. But it's a huge NASA yeah, it's, it's, um, area uh, building and stuff mm -hmm. over there. Right. Um, so there's, there's quite a bit of stuff to do mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you're there for relaxation and rest. Because, I mean... I can't say there's a lot of stuff to do. There, mm -hmm. I didn't see a whole lot to do mm -hmm. <laughs> other than the beach yeah. and restaurants. There, some, there yeah. were some restaurants there. Um, but, yeah, it's just, I mean, if you want to go to the beach mm -hmm. and um, Chica Teague, yeah. it's a nice place to go. Chica Teague and Assateague. Chica Teague is on the Virginia side. Chica Teague is on the Virginia side, and Assateague is on the Maryland side. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if there's Camping Over on the Assateague side. I want to say maybe there's a state park over there. I'm not sure. Um, but we stayed at the KOA, mm -hmm. at the Chica Teague KOA. Mm -hmm. So, yep, yeah, that's all we have for now. Yep. Trying to find a few more places to go before this year's over with. Mm hmm. It is what it is. It's been that crazy year. Yeah, it's been that crazy over here. We hadn't yeah. really gone anywhere mm -mm. yet. Mm -mm. <laughs> so. Well. All right. That's it. Yep. So, like and subscribe. subscribe share. Share. Give a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Or a thumbs down. Yeah. And comment. Your opinion. Your opinions, you know, we, we take into consideration because we want to know if there's anything that we could do better. So, yeah. how? <laughs> Bye. Good morning. Um, just wanted to add in a note to that video, um, to our video, that um, we met the very first people from Black People Camp 2 um, when we went to Chincoteague. I uh, forgot to, to mention that. Um, that we parked actually right next to them. Um, name was K.W. Walton. So I just wanted to give a shout out. Peace.
to work. Just snap, just snap, 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 sn